we continue our look at the Fortnite figures. Today we're taking a look at Bandolier. Here we have Bandolier from the Fortnite 4 inch action figure toy line. His name is right here, the figure is right there, and we got a bit of card art right back here. And we've got his harvesting tool and his building material. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to flip this card around, this uh, thing around here. And here back here, we got the Fortnite logo. We have Bandolier. No shirt, no surrender. And we've got, that's, I'm guessing must be a quote from, from that uh, skin, that character. And uh, here, move that there. We've got more full art right there. And we've got the cross sail for the other toys. So this figure stands up, as you can tell, as I'm messing up my fabric background here. But uh, you can, as you can see, that this figure, or not the figure, but the, well, there went that. I was going to say the, stand, uh, the package was standing up really pretty good. But that's how it's designed to stand up. It's got a bit of a, a slope to meet this. So this channel is not about leaving things in the package to admire, although it is cool looking. We are about opening it. So... Let's uh, take this thing off. We're going to cut cut it open and bring him back. All right. Here's Bandolier, and he's back. And yes, uh, even if you can't tell, it has been cut open. What I do is just in case I want to hang on to the... Well, I'm going to hang on to the package, but just in case I want to put him back in the package, what I do is I make a cut from about this corner, and I go all the way down around and stop at this corner so uh, I don't mess up any of this right here so it can still stand just fine. And that'll work just fine. I can pop the back here open, can pull that card away, and reach in and pull out the inner plastic. And then I can just kind of slide that out. And then there we go. We still have that standing up and doing pretty good. I'm going to take this out real quick. It's a little bit tight for your hands, but I'm going to set this off to the side. And what this is... Well, what this is, is just a Fortnite toy collector guide. And it shows you all the character skins, figures, the uh, weapons, the accessories, the harvesting tools, the back bling, and the gliders. So that's, uh, that's what this all is about. You can find those online to really look at. But here we have the bandolier figure right here. We've got the building material. We've got his harvesting tool, and we've got him. Him, him, him. If we can get him, him out. There we go, he's out. And then we got this cool little thing. So I'll toss this off to the side also. All right, so here we're here to take a look at the bandolier figure, the toy. He's kind of cool looking already. So if I set him here, you can kind of see him. First off, we're going to take a look at the building material. It is wood-based, or it looks wood. It also doubles as the figure stand. There's the peg that the foot will go on. Then we have a... Oops. He fell over. He's been out f uh, fighting too long. And then we've got the connectors to other building materials. So you can make some really cool little uh, things with these building material. We have his harvesting tool, Chomp Jr., it's like a, a spear sword right through a shark. Arr, I'm going to get you. Yeah, okay. So anyway, that's kind of cool. That's neat. We've got Bandolier. And here he is. Here, here he is, his stuff. And actually, he's got one more little accessory, it looks like. And that is this ammo belt. That goes right around his torso. So we're going to take the ammo belt off for now. So here he is. He's got uh, no shirt. He's got, I'm not sure, this may be just like camo paint on him. Because his, uh, his pants, that are his tan pants have this like camo pattern on them. I don't know if you can tell real well with my lights on here. He's got some brown, not brown, some black gray boots with some really good shin guards. He's got gray gloves. And he's got a little uh, computer thing here on his right hand. He's also got bandolier. No, sorry. Uh, a bandana. 
a sweatband, a green one around his head, and he's got a bandana tied to his right hand, and it's got soft rubber part that's uh, hanging off of it. Does that come off? Actually, if you worked on that, I bet you can take it off. It peels away. Yeah, it peels away. If you worked at that, you could probably take that off. All right, so what kind of motion, what kind of movement does this guy have? So, he can uh, nod his head, like so. And he can... He can... With a lot of force. <laughs> a lot of force. There we go. A lot of force. He can look straight down at his toes, like so. Because he's got this fancy neck hinge. And then he can even look straight up with a very strange looking throat but that's kind of a cool now he's flying the one thing i didn't like about toys was if he needed them to fly like say it was a gi joe with a jetpack this would have been great because now he's actually he looks like he's flying he's looking where he's flying i know bandolier doesn't fly like that but just it's the thought that's so cool i like that one and his head rotates all the way around now if you lift his arms Besides the fact they're kind of tough, how high do they go? They go just about that far. And if you rotate them around, because they do rotate all the way around, they will go pretty much straight up, it looks like. So there you go. He goes straight up. Now his elbows will rotate all the way around on both sides. They bend in. Let's do that. About that far. And then they bend down about that far. He's got a little bit of plastic here for the uh, elbow, so it doesn't really allow him to, to move his forearm down that far. He's got rotatable wrists all the way around. And he's got rocker, so they do this. And both sides have that, so this has got it. Now, this little computer doesn't seem to hinder much. It's kind of just right there, so it doesn't hinder the movement at all. His torso rotates all the way around, if you make it. It's probably not real comfortable for him, but it does go all the way around. And his waist, ooh, there's a crack. His waist also, uh-oh, he lost his bottom. Hey, I've never seen this part of a figure before. <laughs> I'm learning all sorts of things with these Fortnite figures. So his waist will rotate all the way around, bottomless and all. <laughs> My goodness. So, let's see, did it break? Or is it just a glue thing? Welcome to my channel, The McDowan Show, where we are going to customize and repair figures, apparently. I don't think it broke... Exactly, I think maybe he just popped it off. Wow, cool. I learned so much about these toys now. You know, with my G.I. Joes, I'm like afraid to like try to yank them apart because some of them are expensive. But these ones are, are a little bit cheaper, so twist them all around. It shows you where their parts are. So yeah, apparently, uh, here's a little uh, info about uh, a Fortnite figure. When you take the, the bottom off, then it looks like... The legs can come out, that little T-ring, not T-ring, the T-joint, can come out, which also connects to that. We learned about our figures today. The more you know. Anyway, so that happens, and then um, his thighs rotate. You know, this, this has a bit of a gap here. I'm hoping that's not like the next thing to go, next thing to pop off. And then he's got the standard double knee joint, and this is pretty nice and smooth. It just it moves. It just works. And the same with over here. Now he's got a little pouch on his right leg. Too bad you can't use it. You can't like open it up or put anything in there. He's got hinged ankles. And so they bend down about that far. And they bend up about that far. And if you really want to. They can be rotated, but when you rotate them, they don't go just normal. They kind of do like that. So they will rotate all the way around. So anyway, he's got a very loose left foot here. Is that lefty, loosey, loosey, left, whatever. Uh, loosey bandy, loosey bandy. 
But anyway, this is a really cool figure. I like this one. This is great. Yes, this is great. Let's put his ammo belt on. And it, the ammo belt's soft rubber, so... Put that back on. Let's give him Chompy Jr. They probably don't... He's probably too cool to be called Chompy. We'll just call him Chomp then, since that's what it's called. And we'll get his building material and peg him on so I don't know it doesn't quite look it looks awkward the way he's holding this thing if I was holding that thing maybe I would be awkward too with a shark on the end maybe I'd be awkward oh let's see if we can get him into some sort of a cool pose I don't know yeah it just kind of looks awkward the way he's holding that thing so Maybe, I don't know. I will shark you. Arr, arr, arr. Anyway, yeah, this is a cool guy. He's got gold sunglasses on. He's got a nice nice black beard. And he's got a bit of a, not a bit of, but it is a mohawk. Kind of a, a, sh a short one. Alrighty, so here we go. This is Bandolier. So we make you and the shark dizzy. It's time for our cool little spin around close up of the figure. Thank you for stopping by. If you want to drop me a line, please do so in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to be notified of future videos, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon next to it. I will see you next time.